Hey guys, this week's video is a fun video, it's a little different, but I thought I'd take this 28 to 135 millimeter lens, put it on a standard tripod, and take a movie clip of the moon, and then also take one in video crop mode. I'm then going to use my DSLR camera in prime with the telescope, and also in prime with uh, video crop mode. And for the last part of the video, I'm going to show the next image 5 planetary imager being used and also in conjunction with a Barlow, just to get an idea of framing and, um, and what can be done with the three different methods. The telescope I'm using is Orion 80mm. It's on a next Star 4SE mount. And uh, let's see what we can do. So here's the standard tripod with the 135 millimeter telephoto lens attached of the moon. And it's not tracking, this is just the moon drifting through the uh, frame. You see it's not very detailed or highly magnified. Well, that's the point that I'm trying to get at here. So that's the frame of reference you're seeing in this shot. Just a standard video mode on a Canon 60D with uh, the lens at 135 millimeter. And not a whole lot of drift in the frame there. It's barely moving. No tracking necessary. And bear in mind, this is going to produce a, a dot .movie file, which uh, you'll then need to convert to uh, AVI for stacking. Now this is the video crop mode, it's 640 by 480 it's available on the 60D. A lot of cameras offer the uh, video crop mode, and there's some programs you can get to allow your camera to do that also. But you can see it's a whole, whole lot more magnified here. And um, the advantage you get with the video crop mode is you're, it's actually just cropping the frame around the center. So you're still... You still don't need all that tracking and stuff. I mean, the standard field tripod and and video crop mode will let you do this. I'm, I'm not tracking this at all, and this is a usable AVI. Later in the video, I'm going to have uh, just some quick st stacking I did of all, all of my methods in the video. But I chose 135 millimeter because it's fairly moderate. It's not a really high focal length, but... Just wanted to see what kind of detail I could get out of it because it's all about aperture and everybody into uh, astronomy, especially astrophotography, knows that the bigger the diameter of the lens, the more resolution you're going to get. So didn't expect a whole lot with the 135, but it's decent. It's, uh, it's a fun uh, way to capture planetary if you're... Uh, you don't have a telescope, so that's the idea behind this. And uh, trying to present a one to one ratio. It's a really fun test. Um, I hope this is interesting to somebody. I had a lot of fun messing around with it. Like I said, this is Canon 60D. Um, 60DA also has video crop, quite a few of them do. Okay, this is the camera in prime, which is basically just the DSLR attached to the telescope looking at the moon. I've got a little overexposed and I apologize for that, but this is the frame of reference here. And this is shooting in video through the camera in prime on the telescope. And this is video crop mode through the telescope. And you notice that wobble at the beginning. Um, unfortunately, you have to push an actual record button rather than a shutter to start the video. So you get wobble at the beginning at the end. And uh, generally, I would put that in Adobe Photoshop and, and clip the first part and the last part of the video out. And this is still the DSLR and Prime and video crop mode. I'm just messing around with the next star 4SE tracking, which is uh, really good for planetary. I 
lunar, solar. If that's the kind of thing you like to do, it's a, it's a great budget mount for that. You see how steady it is. It's, it's pretty awesome, really. So this is also uh, being tracked. I'm just moving the controls around, just panning around the moon. And this shot is the next image five, and it's barlowed two times. So a little bit higher magnification with a two times barlow than you would get with the um, video crop mode. And it looks a little dim because it's you actually want to record your video with the uh, next image a little more dim than you normally would. And what you think you should by looking at the screen anyway. This is just another perspective here with the next image five. Now, if you're uh, if you got a real crummy budget mount, then you you're better off with with the uh, planetary image or webcam because it doesn't put any strain on your equipment. Okay, so here's a Registax six stacked um, image taken from the um, movie file which I converted to an AVI of the 135mm uh, lens on a standard field tripod untracked and uh, it's not a very detailed image and I really crumbed it up trying to uh, put some contrast into it but give you an idea you can you can do a lot with it so this just being 135 millimeter I could see like a 500 millimeter mirror lens or something being really effective. Uh, you can do planetary with just a standard field tripod and and your camera in video crop mode with a lens. Um, I did some footage with a 50 millimeter just to see, but it, it wasn't quite as magnified as this, obviously. So I threw that out. So here's that terribly overexposed prime shot of the moon in uh, video crop mode that I later process in Registax is, is terrible and I apologize for that but you get an idea of framing size and that sort of thing and here's the next image 5 stacked AVI that I took my settings were a little bit better on this one but There's not a whole lot of difference in magnification there from just the camera in prime as opposed to say the uh, next image five on a Barlow so it's, it's almost equivalent. And this is just a screenshot of the uh, movie files that you saw in the order that you saw them in minus the, uh, the final images from the video clips just serving as a reference. So um, the video crop mode on, on the camera is extremely effective because you're you're maintaining a very very close to one to one pixel to image ratio and it, the magnification is is pretty good on it. You see where I, I borrowed the um, next image five and had just a slightly closer magnification of the moon so uh, with the um, 135 millimeter lens it's easy to see that you could actually do uh, and you know in terms of size you, you could do AVI of Saturn and say Jupiter and um, you're not going to get really good spectacular results but if all you have is a camera and a tripod that's cool that you can do that and uh, just for fun, I put this out there. Maybe um, it's useful to somebody. But uh, it's worth a shot to go out and try it. Um, I was shooting in high definition on all of my video footage of the moon and Jupiter and that sort of thing. And then 
it stacked terrible and I had a lot of uh, extra space around my image that I didn't need before I tried uh, the video crop mode and, and I said shoot why don't I use a fairly moderate focal length lens and and see what I can do with it but it all comes down to aperture like I said but it's something that you can work with and something to play with and and uh, just um, encourage everybody to use what you have and see what you can do with it and I'll come back later with uh, a 500 millimeter lens just a camera and see what I can do with that and then in terms of uh, just camera lenses it's, it comes down to your measure of your clear aperture pretty much how much glass you have in a lens just same as it does with a telescope and um, we'll uh, see how that goes as usual I uh, wish the best um, the weather's been terrible for me like consistently horrible and uh, I don't wish that on anybody so hopefully you'll have plenty of clear skies until next time.